you're currently considering a van mounted water fed pole system, then essentially what you're looking at is a pure water holding tank and filter system that will be secured in some way to your chosen vehicle. Tanks are relatively straightforward, the only real consideration being how effectively the tank is baffled to ensure stability and road safety. The filter system, however, is a different matter. The most important part of a water-fed pole window cleaning system is of course the pure water. If the purity is not high, then the windows will dry badly. Therefore, the filter system should be your main focus and you should be looking for a system that not only meets your current needs, but also your future needs. Consider too the running costs and whether the filters are tough enough to last the course. All cars have an engine and a wheel at each corner, but cars are not all the same. Cars cater for different needs and for different levels of performance. However, most water-fed pole systems use the same filters and are pretty much the same, largely because they're copies of each other. The only thing to set them apart is branding and price. Typically, all systems have a carbon filter, a sediment filter, an RO, reverse osmosis filter, and a DI, deionizing filter. But what are these filters? Where do they come from and why are they used? These are important questions because the majority of systems on the market all use the same filters. On its own, a DI filter is capable of creating enough pure water for window cleaning. However, when a DI filter is used exclusively to remove 100% of waterborne impurities, the replacement cost of the DI media could be simply too high to be a realistic long-term solution. To reduce running costs, an RO filter is used in front of the DI filter. An RO filter mechanically filters tap water so that 98% of the impurities are flushed to drain. And by reducing this burden to less than 2%, the following DI filter lasts much longer and lowers operating costs. RO filters may have a service life of up to five years, but only if they're protected by pre-filters. Pre-filtering is performed by placing both a carbon and a sediment filter before the RO filter. In hard water areas, it's recommended also that a water softener is used. It's clear that pre-filters are important for keeping running costs low. So let's take a closer look at them. 10 inch filters like these are used in most budget systems. They weigh around 500 grams. They're just 10 inches long because they're designed to fit under the kitchen sink to filter drinking water in your home. Small filters like this are cheap, A because of their size and B because they're made for the mass market. They're great for their intended use in the home they're filtering few litres of drinking water per day, but are they really suitable for filtering larger volumes of water for window cleaning? This is a carbon filter. Typically they're made in China and contain carbon granules made from coal. Carbon filters are used to remove chlorine from tap water. This is important because chlorine can damage the thin film RO membrane, so the untreated water may pass through, which in turn will increase the burden on the DI filter, leading to more frequent replacement of both the RO membrane and the DI filter media. Both are expensive. These little filters are capable of removing harmful chlorine from around 15,000 litres of water. When used in the home for drinking water, this filter should be changed once a year. However, a window cleaner who works six days a week with a 1,000 litre system should be replacing this filter every two weeks. The average cost for the better quality ones is around £12. So annually, you're looking at a cost of £288 to do the job right. Inside the plastic cartridge, you'll typically find a sponge disc at the top and the bottom with carbon granules sandwiched in between. The foam is intended to catch the coal dust to prevent it from migrating into the other filters. This dust is no problem in the drinking water systems they're intended for, but if it finds its way into the RO filter, it will clog it in a very short time. If we compare these smaller carbon filters to the much larger carbon filters used in the ionic systems, we can see they're not only longer, but they're bigger in diameter too. Ionic's carbon filters are filled with the very best quality activated dustless carbon made from coconut husks. Granulated carbon offers the benefit of increased surface area over carbon block filters. Granulated carbon also has the benefit of improved flow. Ionic's much larger carbon filter filters 300,000 litres between changes and therefore works out cheaper than the small 10 inch filters. With a nominal weight of 3.4 kilos, they fully protect your RO filter from harmful chlorine and from dust particles. If we compare the smaller 10 inch sediment filters using the budget systems against the large filters using the Ionic systems, we see the same story. The much larger ionic sediment filters contribute to better flow in all conditions, especially near the end of life. 
and these ionic filters should be changed annually, whereas these smaller filters should be changed at least four times a year. In the next video, we're going to see the installation of an ionic V4 system and look into road safety.